our home, planet Earth, is fascinating. If you start exploring it, you'll find that there are a lot of incredible, awesome, and sometimes strange spots that can take your breath away. And for today's video, we've compiled a list of some of the most unique places on the planet, just for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, there's a beautiful, yet dead forest in Namibia. The name of the forest is Dead Flay, which means dead marsh. It's a sun-blackened dead forest in a white clay pan. So it's basically a dried oasis. The lack of water here forces the roots of trees to come outside looking for moisture. There are rust orange, giant sand dunes which surround the place. This forms a sort of contrasting background. It's also said to be one of the highest sand dunes in the world. The trees here are approximately 900 years old. They've not decomposed yet due to the dry climate. It's a total paradise for photographers. The colors of the trees, bleached white pans, and the dunes merging with the blue sky are perfect for mind-blowing photos. Some species of plants, such as Celsula and clumps of Nara, remain as they've adapted to surviving off the morning mist and rare rainfall. So how do you get here? Just fly to Namibia and take a bus or taxi to Namib Nukluft Park. If you decide to go, make sure to take drinking water with you because the walk is at least a kilometer long. Next, there's a door to hell in Turkmenistan. This is actually a geyser, but door to hell sounds way catchier in our opinion. The burning pool of lava in Turkmenistan's Karakum Desert looks exactly like you would expect a getaway to the underworld to look. It's red, hot, and steamy. It's located near the 350 person village of Darvaza and is a hole 230 feet wide. The most interesting part is that it's been on fire for over 50 years. Technically, it's called Darvaza Gas Crater, but the locals have named it the Gates of Hell. You can see its fiery glow from miles away. How did this even come into existence? Back in 1970, a Soviet drilling rig accidentally punched into a massive underground natural gas cavern. This caused the group to collapse and the entire drilling rig fell in. A pocket of gas was punctured and poisonous fumes began leaking at an alarming rate. The Soviets set the hole alight to head off a potential environmental catastrophe. They thought it would stop burning within a few weeks. But here we are, decades later, and the fiery pit is still going strong. People believe that the Soviet drilling rig is still down there somewhere on the other side of the gate. Despite the crater's name and the ever-present flames, people still trek into the desert to witness the site. The desert, which is nearby, has become a popular place for camping. There's one potential problem which puts the fate of this burning hole in limbo. The president of Turkmenistan in January this year ordered the government to research ways to put out the fire. So if you're thinking of witnessing this marvel and are up for an adventure, now is the time. And third on our list is an underwater park. This list would have felt missing without an underwater beauty. There's an actual park in the Green Lake in Tragos, which goes underwater during spring. It's one of the most fabulous waters to dive in around Europe. This is due to the rare natural phenomenon and is located in one of Austria's most breathtaking lakes. The best time to visit is from April to May. It's surrounded by mountains during the spring when the temperature rises and snow melts. The basin of land below them fills with water. During wintertime, the lake has a depth of just one to two meters. After the snow melts, it goes up to 12 meters, with the water covering the surrounding park. It's super popular among travelers and even locals, and we understand why. Imagine walking in a normal park, except everything is underwater. There's a bridge and a bench, as well as several paths and trees. So how do you get here? You've got to take a flight to Vienna and take a train to Brook Andermer using the OAP. Take bus 175 from there, and it'll take you to the lake in 35 minutes. And now, explore the cotton castle in Turkey. There's a group of small pools which result from calcium carbonate deposits. These look cold, but they're actually pools of warm water. They're fed by an underground spring. How cool is that? It's immensely famous among the locals and tourists alike for the carbonate mineral left by flowing water. This lends this natural site the name of Cotton Castle. If you're in the mood for swimming, you can also take a dive here. There are two areas where you can swim here. These are the public travertine pools and Cleopatra's pool. If you get the entrance ticket, the public travertine pools are already included in it. To get here, take a flight to Denizli Airport. From here, you can get a shuttle or minibus to reach Pamukkale. We'd suggest that if you want to pay it a visit, April to mid-June is the best time. Fifth on our list is the Seven Giants in Russia. These incredible rock structures are locally known as the Seven Strongmen of Russia, or the Little Mountain of Gods. They've been created by frost and snow over many years and are a mystery still unsolved by science. There are seven rock over here. They have very 
varying heights from 30 to 42 meters. It's undoubtedly one of the most unique and mysterious pieces on the planet. Legend has it that they're the remains of seven Samoya giants. They were forced to march through the Urals, heading across the mountain ranges to decimate the Bogolski people. Shaman, the largest of the seven, beat a drum to keep his comrades moving relentlessly on towards their quarry. He caught the sight of the holy mountains and he let go of his drum and all seven giants froze to the spot. The likelihood of this story being true is obviously slim, but it's a super cool legend in our opinion. Geologists still haven't quite worked out what happened to create the formation. Nature is truly the greatest artist. People think that they are buttes which formed by erosion. The Manpupaner are then a hard rock type overlying a more fragile or less hard type of rock. A botanist noted that a unique and fragile form of moss grows at the site and the visitors were threatening its future. Luckily, wooden planks have now been laid and visitors are told they must walk on them while sightseeing. The best weather to visit this amazing place is from March to August. There's a super simple way to get there. You've just gotta take the bus to the Ural Mountains. Only explorers and people crazy for travel make their trip here because it has dangerous geography. Lastly, let's talk about Japan's Cat Island. Imagine an island with only a hundred human beings and thousands of cats. Sounds like an absolute dream, right? The locals absolutely adore this living situation. Who wouldn't want to be surrounded by these adorable fur creatures? This island's located in a remote region in Japan that goes by the name of a Hime Prefecture. Cats outnumber human beings here. The cat to human ratio lies between 6 to 1 to 10 to 1. According to some sources, as the elderly population of the island has died, the ratio has increased to almost 36 to 1. These feline inhabitants are fed by food donations from all over the country. They also eat some small creatures from the island and some food from the visitors. Why has the human population here decreased? Well, the sardine fisheries depleted and jobs moved the city. Going back to 1945, it was a fishing village with a population of almost 900. The island is almost 1.6 kilometers long and it was formerly part of Nagahama in the Kita district. But as of 2005, it's part of Otsu. In 2018, it is reported that all the cats on the island would be sprayed or neutered in order to decrease the feline population in response to the declining human population. In October of the same year, 210 cats were sprayed and neutered. Another 10 cats were captured as they had been hidden by an old resident who totally opposed the program. The best time to visit the island is between mid-December to mid-April. If you want to go there, take a train from Sendai to Ishinomaki Station, then take a bus or ferry from the station to Tashirojima Station. The ferry ride takes almost 30 minutes, and soon you'll enter a cat lover's dreamland. That's a wrap for this video. Which of these places do you want to visit the most? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.